We're at the foot of the Great Wall and journeying back in time to a Ming Dynasty style village. Let's walk Beijing. So we're at Beijing Water Town and surrounded by the mountains here. So this is at the foot of the Sima Tai stretch of the Great War. We travelled about 130 kilometres northeast of central Beijing to get here. It was about a two hour drive. This area, Gubei, was a major gateway to Beijing. It would have been a really important military post for hundreds of years. So there's the Great Wall just behind me there, and you can just make out through the mist all the little watchtowers staggered along the ridge of the mountain. And we'll be climbing up there later today. So Yongshun Dying Workshop. So this is modelled on a real cloth printmaking place uh, that was set up in the 1900s, so at the end of the Qing Dynasty. We we're pretty famous, specialising in all kinds of cloth print. This is really intricate, this design. Really gorgeous colours. Wow, so this workshop used 100% uh, natural materials to make the, the dye. So things like purple sweet potatoes, mulberry leaves, and here are the colours. So these colours here would have been reserved, uh, especially for royalty. And then to the other side, these other colours for your normal people, your average Joe. So I suppose uh, that would be me. That's all the choices that I would have if I lived in those days. Looms for silk, for cotton. I remember seeing something like this in my grandmother's house. Excuse me, hi. hi Sorry yeah. to interrupt you. But it's your, okay. Your Chinese is really good. Oh, it's so, okay. Thank you. We are a production team, and we want to go together and talk together. We can. We have uh, Georges here, who happens to be shooting his own stuff, but he's saying he's more than happy to come around with us as well on a tour. So this is great. He speaks amazing Chinese. So I've never painted kites though, but I see a lot of them flying in the center of Beijing. Yeah, uh, very traditional around here. Yeah. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> kites. Yeah. So they're called feng zheng in Chinese, which means, well, I don't need to explain to you, <laughs> I guess, but um, wind zheng, right, which yeah. is a type of instrument. Yeah. And that's because in the past, they would put these bamboo sticks, little bamboo oh, pipes, on the kites right. too. So it would fly and then make these sounds, yeah. a musical sound, so it got the name Feng Zheng. Oh. But before that, they actually had a purpose, like a military purpose. So it sort of uses, I don't know, not quite... Like a drone sense. or something? Sort of, sort of, yeah, exactly, exactly. Dun, okay. dun, dun, dun. Oh. Is our finished masterpiece. I think we should swap sides though. I think so too, yeah. yeah. This is your side. Do you see, I've done some shading there. Two tones. Should we let it fly? Yeah, let's try that. Okay, let's go. Go! Oh, that looks really good! Ooh. Ooh. I mean, something like this, it's just all around the waterways, isn't yeah. it? It just sort of grows outwards like that. It's very organic. It's very different. Yeah, for sure. That's why a lot of my, you know, uh, Chinese friends from the south of China, when they come to Beijing and I taught them like, oh yeah, let's go north and then west or east. Mm. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah just... Beijing's very just, <laughs> yeah. it's straight, isn't it? Little yeah. boxes, yeah. Beijing started well to grow exponentially. Uh, especially, you know, during the last 30, 40 years. Yeah, just rings upon rings, exactly. right? Just expanding outwards. So I think this one is the eighth watchtower. Oh, yeah. And there are 30 something of these. Wow. <laughs> Designs like this. It's kind of crazy to think that it's lasted for like so many, like hundreds of years. Wow. So how do you feel up here? Well, it feels kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the Great Wall, I mean, you know, before coming to China, it's like one thing you wanted to see. It's like, yeah, it yeah. was something on yeah. your to-see list. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing I wanted to see when I came to China first were, of course,
Singapore's uh, Forbidden City. Uh, and then the Great Wall, I guess, and mm. also the Summer Palace. Have you ever climbed the Wild Wall? No, I've never dared to. <laughs> uh, that's something, uh, if you get a chance to, it would be yeah. really nice to do, actually. Because it's just a whole different feel. I mean, this is also pretty well preserved, but, you know, right. if you're walking along stretches of the Wild Wall, it's, it's crumbling. Yeah. So you really can see, it's not just about seeing history, but it's seeing history almost happening right uh -huh. there right uh -huh. you've seen you're seeing it sort of slowly erode away which is quite unique the famous chinese saying if you know that song you gotta know it the one about the great war oh right? there we go yeah. so we're both real men we are good It's been a great day, got to climb the wall, got to immerse myself in this experience again. And it's been a lovely break from urban city life, but time to head back.